Okay, so here I am now. I'm getting ready to do the canister. So this is going to be a video on setting up the canister. Uh, right now I'm cutting the pads, foam pads, as you can see. I don't know what direction this goes in, so if you guys are watching us up there, you know. I don't know if it's the blue first or the black. Looking through the light, it looks like the black and then blue. Sorry, blue, then, no. The light on the camera shines through pretty good on the black. So it go black, blue, green, that's what I'm guessing. So, yeah. <coughs> okay, so, uh, right now I'm, what I'm doing is I'm uh, cutting out the uh, pads for the uh, canister. Um, uh, right now I have uh, pads installed, which right now is not right. So it's going to go to black, which is a coarser grade, and I'm going to put that in there. And make sure when you cut your pads out that you cut them out uh, with this as a template and cut them out bigger. Don't try to get very close to the edges because if you do, you're going to have uh, gaps around your outer of your font your foam. So that's in there now. Oh I got a blue one in there stuck. Okay, so as you can see there it is. It's cut out. It's nice and snug. And you always want to put the bumps down and the flat part up because it covers more surface when you get your bumps down so this holds more dirt drying down the bottom and those bumps uh, you can go watch guru on uh, YouTube he show you that uh, what he does he'll put the pad up like this and he'll pour some uh, small bio balls and he'll do it this way first which is sitting down in the canister or the basket right here and he'll show you that this way holds more which makes sense because you have the indents of your filter and there's none there so this is going to hold more drying than this side so just wanted to share that with you so there you go i got the blue and the black and i got my green and my polish <coughs> Put this again, the bumps down, as you can see. Bumps down. Slide this in there. And remind you, I gotta wash all these again, so. Uh, right now, I'm just testing to see how this is gonna fit in here. As you can see in the bottom, it leaves a space in there. So that's going to hold a lot of grime in there. In between your blue and your green. And then the next goes in is your filter floss. Which doesn't matter which way this goes. And there's your filter floss. So that's down in there. So here these two will set. <coughs> and a canister like that. So let's go for a walk and set you up. There's the uh, 75 gallons sitting there. It's getting pretty cloudy. I had a filter on it. Hang on back uh, Just to get the cycle going. It was a media from another aquarium 
So as you can see, here's the lava rock. It's it's uh, pretty small, and it's going to fit in the basket very well. So here's a basket. As you can see, it's quite small. So there you go. That's that's the size of the lava rock. I'm not going to bust that up any. I'm really loud. Loud as can be. Mostly red, red lava rock mostly. Here's a big chunk, and it's gonna fit in there nicely. You don't have to bust that up at all. You know what I mean? Like you see, that's that's, a, that's probably the biggest piece that's in there, and that's gonna fit in there nicely. You got all kinds of room. See how the finest stuff is, as you can see. And the smallest piece, you know, might be that one, which is fine. Just have all your trays. Wash all your trays really good. I'm going to set the uh, lava rock that I wash off right into the tray. Uh, a lot of people say you should boil it. No, you don't have to boil it. Um, that's ridiculous. I'm going to start fresh with this tank. Um, I will squeeze off the filters from my other aquarium, my 60 filters. i got one more i got to clean. Uh, i got to clean the 50 filter uh, on the 30 gallon. And I'm just going to squeeze the filters right out in the tank and let the filter suck it in and uh, use stability. Uh, it should get the tank cycled pretty quick. So I have a uh, starting to clear up now. So I have a uh, stability here that works really well and uh, it wouldn't hurt to take and dump some of that stability right in the filter right in on your filter pads so when you fill it up your filter up for the first time the filter or the stability is right in the filter so you let it set probably for an hour Lava rock because due to the fact that it's got a lot of pores and you know crevices and holes in it, and that's what you want to hold your stability, your bacteria, sorry not your stability, but your bacteria. That's why lava rock is so much better than bio rings because bio rings is smooth. Lava rocks has a lot of coarse pores, crevices, holes, and it sits in there and it holds better. So that's that. So that's how much I got in there. That's quite a bit. Now, that's more than enough. Okay, so we lost connection there. The battery went dead. So I got all the stacks together with all my media in there. Yes, I know it don't go like this. But I just wanted to show you, it fits together pretty good. So I know that there's nothing going to be holding it. So now, the only thing I gotta do now is I gotta wash out these here because I didn't wash the foams on these. So we're gonna rinse these with hot water. Not scalding hot water.
this is the last time you'll ever rinse these pads when they're fresh water out of your tap. I'm going to shut it off. I'm going to rinse some cold water. These pads down here, the grills down here are pretty weak. They should be a little stronger. Um, so you got to be careful when you're running hot water over that because they will break. They should have built them, them screens a little stronger on the bottom. Okay, so we're going to ring this out. We're going to set that on top of there. I forgot to see that sticker, the orange sticker. That's where the holes of your trays need to line up with. That sticker is not going to stay on there forever. So you have no idea which way the basket is going to go in. So I'm going to make a mark with a permanent marker right here. Right there. the permit marker now I know that's where the trays go so my bass my uh, canister is cleaned now we're going to put that bio rings quietly into the bucket it's clear after the one that everybody's sleeping this is the only time do anything because I have uh, kids. <laughs> but you know, you can bust this up to be the same size, it's pretty much the same size. Right? And you can use this in a can hang on back canister. Put it in the little zip baggies. Put it in your canister. Or your uh, hang on back filters. Much better. Look at, look. There are only little tiny holes in that. Barely any. Get a hole through the center. See that? Okay? Now look at this. Look at the holes in it. Look at all the little crevices and stuff that the bacteria can get into and and hold bacteria. What's going to be better? Huh? I'll let you answer that question. So the first trays is going to go in is going to be my filters. My pads. And uh, that's where I made the, uh, the marker here. So when I get a lot of media in there and uh, the buck is full, I don't know which way, you know, things is going. So that's why I got that mark there. So we're going to set this down. Sitting there on top of that. So that's my first one. And then my other one I have here is going to be the green, as you can see, and my floss. I'm going to set that in there. Okay. The nice big tray of lava rock. I'm going to set that right down in here. Everything's fitting nicely. And my last tray, which I forgot to move stuff all around in there, will fit down in here. And then this tray, which I forgot to, no, I washed it, is going to sit down in like so.
but is That's another thing, you gotta make sure you get these, these baskets in there. And that they're fitting in the way they're supposed to. Now this goes just like this. And there's no rock in that one. Now, that's how I got the canister set up. Now, I don't know if I want to put a polishing pad on top of this where the aquarium is new. And if the only reason why anybody would put a pad on top it would be to polish the water. But I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to leave it like this and let the polishing pad on the very bottom do its job. I think that's what I'm going to do. So you see. There, so that's pretty much right up at the top almost. You want to make sure you don't bang this uh, you know, glass all over the place. So this must fit on like so. Okay. And you just push down evenly. Make sure it's down. Good, okay. Push them in. That one's on. That one's on. Now, I see water on right at the bottom of the canister. No, I'm just kidding. Hang on a second. So you most definitely want to heat these hoses up with hot water and slide them on and make sure you get them down all the way and screw these up nice and tight. Now don't over tighten them, but make sure they're nice and tight. Okay? And they do pivot in this device here, so uh, I'm going to show you that. Now I'm placing this so that this is in the back of my aquarium so the hoses can go up nicely up to the uh, inlet and outlet. So I wanted to show you guys that. So definitely heat these up. Okay, so I have the canister in place and I have my hoses on top. It's going to be intake and this is going to be outtake. Now I want my outtake to be more in the center. So these hoses do need cut. As you can see, they're quite long. And I have the canister sitting in this way, so the hoses are protruding out, as you can see. Now you want to leave some slack. So you don't want to cut them to be too short, but what you can work with. So let's get these uh, intakes and the uh, intake and outtake on, and uh, get yourself a basket, a little tub to set that in. Um, so let's get this hooked up and get it running. Okay, so I got it installed. Now I'm going to admit installing the hoses is the most hardest part of doing this whole thing. You want to leave yourself enough slack to move your canister around. We also want to uh, 
be able to hang these on properly. They should have had suction cups for the hoses on the back of your tank or something here. I'll figure something out. I'll make something for these. I don't like these just flapping around like that. Don't like that. It's the same thing for that one down there. So that is the outtake, and this one here is the intake. So I got everything all hooked up. Now all I gotta do is prime it. Now, as you can see down underneath here, I rut up my hoses like so. So I left myself enough room, as you can see, for the hose to come in around so I can move my canister around. Same as this one. I brought it up this way so I can have enough room to move my canister. The canister is sitting right here. And I put the inlet out this way because uh, it's easier to work with your hoses in the back, of course. So let's um let's uh let's prime this up until you're plugging it in. I'm just gonna hook the cord here. I will tidy everything up later. So let's just prime this. As you can see. So once you get it going, the water should siphon right through all the hoses. Now it's hard for me to show you because the light's not shining in there nicely. But uh, both lines, I'm going to pump it a few more times. So. And let it go. Now I'm going to plug it in. So now I got my outtake in, nice and secured, I got my skimmer in, I made sure it was down below, I can adjust it accordingly later, and there's my intake hose. Now that was long, I had to remove two sections off that, because remember that's got an adjustable, it just pulls down. So more or less you don't need those two long pieces unless you get a 60 gallon high. And you still see that there's water not all the way through. Uh, as you can see right there, I can see the water flow. So I'm going to plug this in and see if it uh, pulls any water through. So if water starts flying, we're dead. So right now, it's no leaking. The water's being pulled through. starting to get through water's blowing out so far so good no leaks not yet and then say move it around tilt it back and forth just to get any air bubbles out
So it seems to be going pretty good. Let's check the skimmer and see what's going on. Let's move this around a little bit more. Still some bubbles in it. Okay, let's just take a quick look. No leaking going on. Seems to be good flow. 